This is a really important skill, but it's one that really frustrates a lot of people, but you're gonna need it to take your ride into the very next level. This is how to pick up your bat wheel. It's the hardest, but most important part of a bunny hop. It's key for riding light on the bike and not smashing the rear wheel. And it's what you need to ride technical terrain as fast as possible, unweighting your wheels will let you ride harder trails. Lastly, it's key for jumping properly. There's two ways of doing this. They'll both work, but one is better than the other. And it's gonna help you the most when it comes to getting really good at riding. The first method is to pick up with your feet. And this is a clipped in cheat. You just pull with the feet, the pedals follow, and hey presto, the wheel comes off the ground. But why do I think this isn't the best way? Because you can only pick up the rear wheel a bit. You're gonna run out of bend in the legs and then that's it. You might have lifted the rear wheel, but your weight is now directly above it. Land that rear tire on a slippy route and it could be a disaster. Lastly, when it comes to jumping, it's really gonna limit how good you are. Once you pick up the rear wheel and run out of room and your rear tire almost hits your bum, that's all the height you're gonna get. If you come up short, you're stuffed. Check out this video from Matt in Australia. He sent this in to correct me if I'm wrong. And he asked about trying to make more height on the jumps. Well, keep watching Matt. Hopefully we're gonna help you out. Right, so let's look at the better way and hopefully I can give you a couple of hacks to make that magic happen. Ditch the clips. You'll probably find it really hard to unlearn the skill and get this right if you've always done it on clips. So switch, even if it's only for practice. This method is all about using your body weight to lift the rear wheel. That's the important part. And it helps a lot if you have the manual dialed first, because get this and boom, your hops are sorted. Also a good manual will have your body weight to the rear of the bike. Heels down, bum over the rear tire. That's the perfect position to then launch the rear wheel lift. But wait, let's not rush ahead and try and get the manual, then the rear wheel lift just yet. Slow down, grasshopper. Okay, have you got grippy shoes and pedals? Check. Is your seat as low as it'll go? Check. Are you ready to change the way you ride forever? Check. Roll along nice and slow. Make sure your feet are in a nice spot on the pedals, ball of the foot above the axle of your pedals or just in front. Now lower your bum down to the rear tire. As low as you can get it, you should be stretched out with your arms straight. Now slowly go up and forward to your normal ready position but then keep going until you're slightly toe down and hips are coming up near the bars. But don't go crazy, you don't want to be smashing the bars. Repeat this slowly until it feels normal. Now you need to bring in the pedal scoop. As you move up, you'd scrape back against your pedals of your feet. Pull down and into the pedals and then back underneath you. Big movement, down and back to up and forward. This is going to take practice by itself for a while. When you've got it dialed, then throw in the manual and boom, that's a proper bunny hop. With a bit more practice, you'll be hitting tech trails and big jumps and feeling comfortable. But beware for some people who get the rear wheel lift, when they then try to add the manual first, everything goes out the window. So relax, don't try and rush it. Here's a quick cheat. Give a big push forward on your bars just after your manual. This can help the rear wheel come up, but it will lead to a heavier landing than ideal. Be a little bit careful when you're practicing this because you're swinging your weight up towards the bar. So don't go touching your front brake and also make sure your head's up. That'd make a big difference. You don't want to be going over the bars when you're practicing this. Uh, get practicing, leave us the comments down below to let us know how you're getting on. If there's anything else you need to know a little bit about to try and unlock your skills. But I promise you, it'll be well worth trying to practice this. It'll really change the way you ride. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this, hit that sub button. And if you want to see Blake's common jumping mistakes video, click over there for that one.